Hey guys, Alex here. Thanks so much for watching my dog training videos. Be sure to drop by my website, brightdog.com, where you can pick up a copy of the official Bright Dog Academy ebook, plus learn more about my private coaching program where you can personally work with me one-on-one. -on -one. Hey guys, Alex here for Bright Dog Academy. Today, I wanna give you some tips on how to choose the best breed of dog for you. People ask this question a lot and they always wanna know, how do I pick the best breed? What's better, this breed or this breed? Um, and I, th there's so many factors, but there's basically four main ones that can kind of help you narrow down your choices. So I wanna go over this with you right now. So the first thing you wanna think about is size, all right? How big is this dog gonna get as a full grown adult? The size of the dog is important because it leads to a lot of other things, all right? Larger dogs are gonna eat more. The more they eat, the more often you're gonna be buying food, the more uh, expensive that's gonna be. Another thing to think about is the larger the dog, the stronger the dog is physically. The extra large breed dogs, you know, dogs that are over 100 pounds, are, are very strong when you are taking them for a walk. There's some dogs I've worked with that when they're in you know, full on aggression mode or tr desperately trying to pull, um, even when I use two hands, it, they, they, I have to, I'm struggling almost to hold them back sometimes. So being able to be physically strong is very important if you're gonna go for a larger breed of dog. If you're gonna have a smaller breed, it's not as big of a deal. Also think about your living spaces, all right? Large breed dogs are not necessarily um, terrible for apartments. Some large breed dogs do quite well because they're fairly lazy. But in general, you want to have a, a house and a decent sized backyard for large breed dogs um, because, like I said, on average, most of them do require that. There are some exceptions, but think about the actual space you have for this dog when you're considering getting one. Another thing you want to think about is the activity level, okay? How much exercise does this dog need? If you have a very demanding schedule and you're not able to you know, take your dog out for two hours in the morning and two hours at night, you're gonna to wanna to avoid high energy dogs because that your dog is gonna suffer. It's not fair to get a dog who is who needs a lot of exercise and is very high energy and then keep them locked up in the house for 12 hours a day. Now, if you're on the lazier side like me and you want a dog that you know can lay on the bed with you and watch TV and you know go for a, a short walk every day, then there's breeds uh, of dogs that are like that too. And that would probably be a better fit for you. But keep in mind your lifestyle, your activity level, all right? And try to find a breed of dog whose activity level will match your lifestyle because that's a very important thing. The third thing you wanna think about is what type of grooming do you wanna deal with with this dog? There's basically two options. Do you want a dog who sheds that's not gonna require constant grooming? Or do you want a dog that doesn't shed but is gonna require constant grooming? I prefer dogs that shed. I think it's a lot simpler just to sweep up the hair. I'd rather deal with that than having to take them to the groomers every four to six weeks, having to pay for the dog's haircut, and then having to spend all the time, you know, brushing the dog out in between groomings. Um, that's just me though. You know, if you enjoy brushing dogs, a lot of, some people do, I guess, um, then maybe you wanna get a dog that doesn't shed. Uh, if you're like me and you're a little bit on the lazier side and you'd rather just, you know, deal with the, the loose hair, um, go for a dog who sheds his coat. It isn't gonna require, you know, manual cutting or shaving at the groomers. The last thing you wanna think about is temperament, okay? And this is a very important one, particularly if you have children. Now, I'm not gonna cover every single temperament for every single breed in this video, but in general, you know, you go to the AKC website and you read about what the different breeds of dogs um, are like, what their general temperaments are. Those are, I would say, you know, 99% accurate. That is a very solid, base to go off of. My very first dog was a uh, standard poodle. His name was Oscar, big black standard poodle that, I don't know how old was I when we got him. Maybe I was like five or so and he lived about eh, 13, 14 years. He had a pretty long life, okay? And that was my first dog as a child. Very smart dog, but not pr really protective at all. And I remember thinking back, you know, as I think back it's about his behavior, um, and comparing his behavior to my dog who I have now as an adult, Max, my Rottweiler, who are known as, you know, I hate to say, to say like, guard, they're known as guard dogs, but that's what they, they have a very, very, very strong guarding instinct. It is night and day between these two breeds. When I had Oscar, the standard poodle, and someone would walk by my house, eh, he'd glance out and put his head back down and go to sleep. With Max, he hears somebody half a block away from my house, and he's, <laughs> He's trying to bust out that window to get at them. So temperament is very, very important, okay? If, if you're reading something that says a dog likes to herd, 
that dog, odds are, is going to be a herding dog. If you read something that says dog is a guarding, a guard dog is very protective, that dog is gonna be protective. Temperament is a very real thing, so definitely consider that when you're looking at what breed of dog to get. All right guys, so those are a few tips for helping you to choose what kind of breed of dog to get. If you would like me to help you further, give you some more personalized help about your situation, what breeds of dogs would be good, head over to my website, brightdog.com, and you can sign up for a consultation. I'll be happy to you know, provide some personalized um, information for you about, you know, we'll talk about what your you know, lifestyle is, your family situation and everything, and, and come up with a perfect breed of dog for you.